Hi there, welcome to FileMonk. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through adding a digital product to the app. Um, this is a short and quick video tutorial to create your first product listing and to start selling with FileMonk. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is head to FileMonk and click digital products. Here, click add product. Now on this page, you'll see two options, link files to an existing product and I'm creating a product for the first time. If you already have a product listing, click the first option and go through the setup process. If you don't have a product listing, which what this video is for, click I'm creating a product for the first time. This is also where you most likely found the video in the first place. Now, in order to sell digital content on Shopify, you need to have a product listing page. A product listing page is a unique page that tells the customer what the product is and gives them an option to add it to cart and complete checkout. This is the page where your customers would buy the product from and we need to set that up so that FileMonk can then process the order and send downloads to your customer for that specific product. So since we don't have a product listing here, we're gonna go ahead and create one. So head to products and in the Shopify admin, this is in your left menu bar and then click add product. Over here, you wanna add some information about the product. So I'm gonna add the name of the product that I wanna sell. I'm selling an ebook called Become Famous. And I will add a description for it over here. And I'm gonna use Shopify's AI generator to make it easy to add that um, description. All right, and I'm also gonna give it a price. I wanna charge about a thousand for this product. Now, once you've added this, this basic information, the next step is to disable track quantity. Um, quantity and inventory is only required when you're selling physical products where you have a certain, a certain amount of inventory to sell. In the case of a digital product, that concept doesn't apply, so make sure to disable track quantity. And also make sure to disable this is a physical product in the shipping section. Um, this tells Shopify to not collect shipping addresses at checkout. Um, it's not needed because we're just going to process the downloads and send it to your customer's email or phone number. And having collecting the shipping address can really affect your checkout conversion. So just disable it because it's not needed. Once you're done with that, the final thing you want to consider is adding options to your product. So in this case, I have an ebook and I actually have two versions of the ebook, a standard version and an extended version. And I want to add that as options the customers can purchase. So I'm just going to go over here and add addition as an option name and I'm going to say standard and extended. And that's it, I'm gonna click save. And that's pretty much it. You can also add an image to your product listing. This helps a lot with conversion and makes it uh, much more likely for your customers to purchase. But we can actually see the product page that we've created by clicking on the preview button and you can see I have a product listing created. This is the page where customers will buy from. Now that that's done, let's go back to FileMonk. We were here in digital products and click add product. I previously selected I'm creating a product for the first time. Now that I've gone through the process, you can select the select product button over here and then look for the product that you created. So I recently created the become famous ebook you see two options when you select this product. If your product has variants, um, like in my case, I have the standard and extended, you'll see two ways to send files to your customer. If you want to send files, if they purchase any option, just select the first one when any option is purchased. If you want to send files only when they purchase a specific option, for example, the standard variant should only get the standard version of the book, click only when a specific option is purchased. Now that I've selected this, I can then select the option that I want to configure. In this case, I'll start with standard. And the last step is to just upload the specific file for it. So in this case, I want to upload the standard edition book because a customer purchasing the standard variant should get the standard option. That's it. Um, now that I have the standard option configured, the next step is doing the same thing for the extended. So click the pencil icon, click extended and upload the extended version for it over here. That's it. Now you can see that FileMark is configured for both the standard and extended versions, which means your product listing is set, your digital products are done, and you're good to go. The last steps over here are making sure that you have email delivery enabled in settings and placing a test order. That's it. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to us through the chat option. Thanks for using FileMark and all the best.